Hello everybody and welcome back to a little bit more Risk of Rain 2 modded for the Secrets of the Storm DLC. We are jumping in this time and we're going to play as the Huntress with a few alternate skills. We've got the Rock Eye Mini here which is kind of a non-auto aim sort of sticky grenade type thing where we fire once for 150% damage and then it explodes short mine after. We've also got the Laser Bowler which will drag enemies in and then we've also got a new uh, passive Momentum. Uh, sprinting gives stacks Momentum at 10 stacks the next attack will be a critical strike. Pretty interesting. We're going to jump in, of course, on the Eclipse difficulty. We are still at Eclipse 1 here. I do also have a mod that just uh, got updated very recently called Early Stage Spawn Boost, which is just going to mean that the first two stages aren't quite as slow to get started with enemy spawning, which is really nice to see. But you can see the sort of little explosion there. Like we hit an enemy, and then it short after does a little bit more damage. Really, really cool that. Oh, we've got an Elite there over there already. Try and... Uh, we also got this fella here behind us, by the sounds of it. Or is he below? Yeah, he is behind us. I thought you were. We've got our blink, though, to get behind him. If we can, I'd very much like to do that when plausible. And you can see already that there's a lot more enemies spawning, which is definitely a bit riskier. It's definitely a little bit scarier, but... I think it is good. Molten Coin, I picked up one stack of that because the uh, additional stacks just increase our... Um, our damage of it, so having one stack of this is actually really, really nice, and it can earn us some money. Oh, I'm missing my shots really bad here. We do have a little bit of AoE on this shot here, which is kind of nice. Oh, I kind of forgot that you'd uh, do your little sprint speed thing and get out of that. But yeah, whenever we hit a Molten Coin shot there, it's going to do some good damage. I mean, if we can stack a few of them, even at only like 6% chance and not increasing, it's still pretty good. We do have a Halcyon Shrine right here, which I kind of want to do. Oh my god, the arcing of this is kind of crazy. Ooh, we got a Shrine of the Mountain as well, which I think I'll grab, to be honest. What we got there? Fork, that's actually not bad. 2.4 damage um, is decent. I don't mind that. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of tempted by that right now. Um, ooh, deal extra damage up to 40% at 300 gold scales with time. Obviously, right now, that doesn't do a whole hell of a lot for us. But let me tell you, in a little bit it will. And there's one of the new elites as well. Look, look at this guy. With his little war banner effect. There's another one of them over there as well. I really like these dudes. You just got to be kind of careful for them and try and prioritize them a little bit. Because otherwise you're going to have a hard time. Bitterroot's really good for some extra HP regen on killing an enemy. Anything to keep us surviving will be nice. We've got Mercenary Exposed there. I'm not quite sure what that is. There's those guaranteed crits every now and again. That's really nice. You can see our stacks of momentum building. They seem to build reasonably quickly, to be fair. As long as we're sprinting, they keep building. I see you there, fella. You can hear that noise whenever we... Uh... Oh, dude, Crowbar's so nice for us here. Whenever we hit with our uh, Molten Coin, there's like a little audible noise. Right, let's quickly check down here. I don't want to spend too long. Okay, our, our portal's over there, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check over there last. Let's do el elsewhere first. Yeah, this guaranteed crit thing's pretty cool, because this character's got a lot of different abilities that are based on crit. So it makes sense to have a built-in ability to crit. I haven't really got a good opportunity to use my laser bowler yet. We do have a scrapper here. I'm actually not in the need of a scrapper right now. By the way, I have a pretty cool skin on for, uh, for our character here. I think it looks pretty awesome. I like it. But yeah, having a scrapper is nice, at least, because... If we get some dookie stuff, then we can scrap. But honestly, Bitterroot, really, really nice for HP regen. I'm pretty sure it's uh, plus three after getting a kill for two seconds, which doesn't sound like a hell of a lot, and it, it only increases the seconds on additional stacks. But it makes quite the difference. It really does. It makes quite the difference. Hey, that's good. Some base movement speed and then a bit of extra while outside of combat. We need movement speed. We've got this little thing here again. I think this is due to uh, having the Hunk mod installed. Every now and again, we can find a body lying around the stage. It's pretty well hidden, to be honest. I find it quite hard to come across. But if you do come across it and interact with it, you can get a special item that will spawn a unique chest on the next floor. And that chest normally contains some goodies. That's... Okay, I, I, don't, I don't really like anything that's going to rely on us being on low health, to be honest. That's not super, super valuable for us right now, but... I mean, I'm not going to say no to it for now. But I might, I might scrapper it. I might scrapper it. I haven't decided yet. 
Nice. These Healy fellas need to uh, step the hell back. Yeah, you can see this early spawn boost is making a massive, massive difference. It just it just speeds up the pace of the game so, so much. We could do a Halcyon Shrine now, but I kind of we've got a bit of money to spend. I'd rather go and do our boss first. Yeah, because we've got some stuff down here. Look, hey, we got an active item. I was kind of hoping for that. Um, pushes all enemies within 20 meters, dealing up to 500 damage and stunning. That's actually kind of good. We've got a big chest here. I'm glad we got one of them on this stage. Shurikens I actually really don't mind here. Shurikens aren't half bad. We got we got a lot of damage chests here, which I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of liking. Focus crystal, I can probably scrap that to be honest. Same with the mustache, and that as well. To be honest, we got we got some scrappables here. We got some scrappables. Right, let's get this done. Someone told me I need to make sure to be scrapping like at the end of the stage rather than earlier on. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah, oh, I was really, I was really convinced I was going to be able to just push him off the side of the stage there. That would have been hilarious. Right, we've got to remember to use uh, Bitter Root here to stay alive. I'm going to try and take him out completely before we even bother with the, uh, the other fella. There you go. We are going to have to play around this pillar here to make sure we don't get killed by the big blast when that goes off. Yeah, there it is. That was kind of close, but we got there. We got there. And we did get ourselves Genesis Loop, which is rather nice. And what's this other item we got here? Every five seconds, all mechanical allies fire a nuclear missile. That sounds really good, but unfortunately, we don't have any drones right now, and I'm not going to build around drones. I do have two items, though, that work for drones. I could keep them. But considering we've got a blue portal, I'm going to uh, take a risk and I'm going to scrap some stuff. So I'm going to scrap that. 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 Good. good. And let's come over here. Um, I I'm going to take two forks, do you know? I'm going to take two forks. Extra damage seems good. Cool. It's not a ton, but extra damage is extra damage. Right, let's do this now, shall we? We kind of know how this works now. We've just got to fill up the meter. As we kill things, you'll see it become more and more gold. That stun is rather nice. Dude, we have filled this so goddamn fast. I think we've basically done the whole thing already. Yeah, we have. We literally filled the whole thing, like, instantly. That was amazing. Right, boss time. Ooh, it's a hard boss as well. It's annoying. Right, we've got to be very, very careful with this guy, because he can goddamn wreck us if he hits us hard. Luckily, we can push him down, as we just did there. Oh, dude. This is bad. I could easily die here if I'm not careful. There you go. We're all good. We're all good. Now, I don't want to go through the green portal here. I'm not that interested in that. Um, let's go with some HP regen. And I'll go with that and scrap it and get another fork. HP regen I'll keep, though. That's actually decent, the one-shot protection thing. But I just, I'd rather have damage right now. Right, let's get the hell out of here. Not a not a terrible stage. We did take a bit longer than I should have done, really. Not terrible, though. Right. Go on through. We'll see what our red item is if I want to get rid of what I've got. Because, oh, there's another item I meant to scrap there. If I end up keeping that, that's silly. The, the bonus attack speed one. I should have scrapped that. My bad. And we got much going on here. You do have this. I will take this. It's one of my favorite ones. Much slower attack speed, but it speeds up over time. Shattering Justice is honestly worthwhile here. And we kept the green item I wanted to keep as well. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, the question is, do I go and do the Void Fields? Do I go and do the Void Fields? It would be kind of silly with the amount of healing I have. I'm, I'm going to hold off. Once I get a bit more healing, I'll go down there. 
Void fields are something I want to try and integrate into my Eclipse runs a little more often if I can. I think they're pretty valuable. Um, I do have a mod that reworks them. Also, Shattering of Birds on Stage 2. That is a, a change from one of the mods that I have. Um, rather than it being a Stage 1, it's now a Stage 2, which I much prefer. So you'll see on the bottom re left there, there's a, a times 3 times 4. It's like a cog icon. And basically, we've got to keep constantly hitting enemies to build fire rate. Our fire rate starts really slow, as you can see. But as we hit enemies, it climbs and climbs and climbs. And it gets to the point where it gets to 300% of its original, which obviously is real good. But it does mean that initially attacking enemies is pretty slow. I think the good thing is, though, I think our active abilities, like our um, rain, will build it. Yes, it will. So our rain actually builds up our attack speed very, very quickly. But you can see here now, look, this is... We, we're an absolute cannon now. <laughs> it's a really, really fun um, lunar item. As a pretty hefty downside, like, if you're initially, like, fighting a boss or whatnot, just getting going kind of takes a little while. But once you get going, boy, you become a machine gun. It also doesn't really work with some characters. Melee characters it's not the, the most ideal on. Um... <sighs> Opal or Sprint Speed. As much as I love Sprint Speed, the Opal is just too good. Negating that much damage is pretty amazing. Right. Grab this chest first. Not a great item there. Difficulty's gone up to hard. Wee! <laughs> Skeet shooting! Launched that guy into the sky, that was amazing. Grab that, we got a good amount. Oh, another fork. Dude, this base damage increase is uh, quite good. Oh, dude, the Halcyon Shrine's like, is that always there, or is that just like a, a random chance that's like right in the middle there? That's kind of cool. Steady mugs, not bad. Knock up fins, not terrible. Definitely not ideal, though. We did have a scrapper on the stage, so there's probably a few things I will get rid of here. 160 on that. Good, good. I did not mean to start that. Balls. Bald Chaos. Triggers with random effects one time per stack. How does that work? When does it trigger the random equipment effect? I'm not sure. Like, whenever we use ours? Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's whenever we use our equipment, it triggers another random equipment. Interesting. Seems pretty good with our current equipment, considering it's uh, pretty quick to get going. This, this one seems to be taking an awful long time to charge up. I'm not seeing any gold at the bottom of it. I didn't even mean to start this. This was a, a mistake, but I'm here now. <laughs> I hear enemies. I don't see enemies. Right. How's this looking now? There you go. It's finally charging up a bit. Still kind of slow going at the minute, though. Hello. Didn't expect a champion version of you here. Yes, I don't really know what actives I'm getting here. I got an invisible one at the minute. I'm invisible by the looks of it. Shrouded. Charge up faster. I want to earn money and use it on other things. We're only halfway done. Spawn more stuff, please. Storm's approaching. Right. Oh, this guy, the knock the knock up fin there. Pretty useful. Okay, we got it, we got it. It's done. 
Now we just gotta make sure to not get absolutely destroyed by all of these fools. Oh my god, that was a good hit on me there. This is intense. Right now, right here, this is intense. Okay. We're actually not doing too bad of a job here. I don't know what that orb following me is, but I don't like it. And we're nearly done with these fellas. Thank god we have this insane attack speed, though. Ship and request forms, not bad. Suck all those guys in. Sent you a meat hook, thank you. And we'll take that as well. Oh my goodness. I need you to leave me the hell alone, guy. Sent you a meat hook, though. It's pretty decent here. Oh, I wanted to get up on top of that little area there. I think if I had a Molotov there, maybe. Alright, we've still got plenty of enemies to see. Dude, these bulls are like insane speeds. The children as well, man. They're strong. What 3D printer is this? Warped. No, 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 no. No, no thank you. All right, there's that teleport. We know where that is, at least. We've got another big chest here. I want to make my way back over towards that scrapper. I don't know how good this is. It feels like it should be pretty good, but I don't know actually how good it is. Got a lot of pulling abilities now, which is good. Right, I think the scrapple is just over here, right? Yeah, the meat hook is, is doing a, a real good job for us right now. There it is, yeah. Right, scrap. Um, scrap shipping request form's decent. Just go with them ones for now, I think. I think everything else is decent enough. Right, let's try and make our way towards the actual teleporter now, shall we? <laughs> it's absolutely hilarious how far you can knock enemies with that. I love it. Right, there's probably some more stuff all the way over there, but we are taking a very long time in terms of difficulty now, which isn't a bad thing. Like, the difficulty doesn't matter that much as long as we can keep up with it. Has that got a shorter cooldown or a longer cooldown? Let's find out in a second. Ah, longer cooldown. I won't be taking that, thank you. I want short cooldowns. I want short cooldowns, thank you. Right, it's time. Let's go, boss. Is it just a single wandering vagrant? Oh my god. Shattering justice made that uh, made that go by pretty quick. I am loving this right now. How did you get up there, dude? How on earth did you get up here? I saw you dive past me, and I turned around to look for him, and he was just gone. Look at this machine gun we've got. I love it. Try to keep it up is the only thing. <clears throat> but it is a lunar item that I am a very big fan of. I'm not... I don't take lunar items very often, I'll be honest. There's a lot of them I don't like, but this one... Just attack speed galore. You can get multiple stacks, but it slows down the initial fire rate a lot. Which, once you get to like three stacks, becomes absolutely brutal. Like, starting a stack is really hard. I'd have to use my arrow rain to like start firing. Otherwise, like, you get to the point where firing one shot, it takes so long to fire the next shot. By the time you fire this, the next one, you've lost all your stacks. And so you literally can't build stacks. You have to use an ability. But it has to be an ability that hits multiple times, which means it doesn't really work with some characters, as, as I was sort of mentioning. Right, we're good to go to the next stage now that... Like I said, we're taking our time here, but I think we've got some pretty good stuff going on. We've got some green items I'm not that big into. Um, like the hat and stuff, but... 
I think for the most part this is decent. Oh, hello. That seems like a, a fair way to start the day, my good sir. Also, you'll notice this stage appearing naturally when it normally doesn't, which I really like. Gives a bit more variety. Dude, this is insane. Can we not have enemies like that spawning literally right next to me? Feels a bit, uh, feels a bit rude. Try tip Yes, please. Another chest up there. Is that a big boy? No, it's just a regular chest. Gain a shield, you have 10% maximum HP, and upon losing the shield, create a nuclear pool that deals 700% damage. Oh, that seems pretty good. We've got a 3D printer heater for extendo arms. I don't really care about that one. And what we got here, stun grenade. Also don't particularly care for that, thank you. That, however, I'm very happy with. The short air hop is um, nothing short of absolutely beautiful. Ooh, ooh. Here's our shield break nuclear radius thingy. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's rather nice. Leech Seed is huge for us right now. Leech Seed's got some percent based healing. That makes a lot of difference for us right now. That's a lot, there's a lot of chests around here, my god. If you're wondering where all the chests went, they're all here. Right, crack this one first. Don't know what, oh, <laughs> of all the things I could have got, you give me Bungus. I mean, to be fair, Bungus isn't terrible. It's not awful, but obviously wasn't what I was looking for. Again, I can use Photo Mode as a bit of a cheat to like scout for uh, Scrappers, if I don't want to like clear the whole stage. But, it is a bit cheaty. But I do like using it. <laughs> Just because it's a bit cheaty doesn't mean I'm not good at it. Um, so we don't really have a scrapper by the looks of it. We do have quite a few more chests though. I'm going to grab this. What we got here. Jumping while midair performs an air dash. Oh yeah, okay, I like that. I like that. Not great. Champion. Easy. Delicate watch. Not the best. It's still damage, but... Come on, spawns. Feels like the spawns have slowed down on the third stage. If anything. What on earth is that? Okay, I destroyed a little thing. Oh, I managed to hit an enemy that was over there, apparently. That wasn't ideal. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't fly. When did they change the rules? Gasoline. We've got these fruits about. Oh, they give you healing. Oh, that's kind of cool. I love this elite. I don't know what elite, what mods that's from, but I really like that elite. It looks gnarly, man. That that is very good. That can save us from so many enemies. Ooh, and a band as well. This is some good stuff. The sort of stuff we want to see. Oh, I see you. I, I heard him spawn, but I couldn't find him. Right, sadly no Scrapper. We've got a bunch of stuff here I'm not particularly interested in, but... Sadly no Scrapper. Yeah, this guy becomes a lot less deadly when we have an armor repulsion plate. Like, 
Even just one makes him so much less deadly. And yeah, let's do the boss. Let's go straight for it. What are we going to get? Zy Construct. And Beetle. Well, I think... <laughs> I just want to say, I think we killed the Beetle. <laughs> the Sentient Meat Hook plus the, uh, the Laser Bowler just dragged him straight off the map. That's hilarious. We got the Medallion. I don't know. I've, like, the Medallion's one of the, one of the ones that's kind of weird. I feel like it's probably pretty good, but I've never actually seen the little buffer the thing that it drops. So I don't know how often I'm affected by it. So therefore, I'm like, is it good? What's this here? Pull enemies um, within 40 meters towards yourself. Pull... Drop orb projectiles. It's a it's a low cooldown, which is kind of nice. But I think pulling things towards is probably a bad idea. Is that multiple lunar coins like merged into one? Yeah, it is. <laughs> thank you. Not that I need them, but thank you. If you're wondering why I have like a bajillion. Lunar coins. It's because I downloaded a 100% save file a long time ago and I still play on it, so I just have a lot of Lunar coins. Okay, almost done on this stage too. So far though, this is a pretty decent build. I think we've got something that works. There's definitely a bunch of stragglers in our build. Items that we just don't need. But there's a lot of stuff in there that's, that's making quite the contribution, I think. Especially our legendary items. We've got some really good legendary items. I... Don't really know what to say for um, Bottled Chaos. I've not really sort of used Bottled Chaos enough to know how good it is. So far it seems decent though. Dude, Shattering Justice, look at that. Eggs. Bottle Cap. A little bit less cooldown on our arrow rim. It's kind of nice. Right, yeah, we are very much on the hunt for eggs at the moment. We want to be uh, getting our free legendary this stage as soon as we can. Squid Polyp, the changed Squid Polyp. Oh, dude, let's, let's, let's do it, watch. Nope, like here. Excuse me, that was kind of rude. I got it, yes, do you see that? Beautiful stuff, oh, hello. That was uh, a bit of a rude introduction. I do say so myself. He's just chilling up there. Let's leave him be. Oh, we got a scrapper. Lovely. I love the fact that you use the arrow rain ability to like get out of the way of stuff that's like on the ground next to you. It's so helpful. Okay, a scrapper will leave to last. We don't need to be messing around with a scrapper right now, do we? More eggs, lovely. Another healing fella here. I don't even know what I got there. Loaf of bread. Oh, we got an aspect. It's the healing aspect as well. Lovely. Uh, increase health regen by 1%. Attacks perch on hit, reducing attack speed by 10%. Oh my god. Okay. We've got the distance whirling now, so I think we only need one or two more of the eggs to have it complete. Which I think should be very close by. I'm going to go for a red whip for a bit more movement speed. We kind of need it right now. We got, we lost our last red whip. There you go. He is here. And you should die pretty quick once we get our uh, burn plus shattering justice going. Just got to make sure to stay on top of that really difficult attack he does. That one. That's, we, we, we have found what we'll be using our scrapper for this stage. My goodness. 
And we get Frost Relic, which is fine. It's pretty decent. Right, I'm just going to kill the boss now so it's out of the way with. We've got another Solus Control unit. Great. And Magma Worm, which is where? Oh, hello, Void Reaver. Where did you come from? Came to visit, did you? Magma Worm, could you come attack me, please? He's just chilling over there. Can't really do much with him while he's uh, gallivanting off elsewhere. There you go. He's making his way back. There you go. Right. Take care of a few of these annoying enemies. Make way back to our scrapper, which was... There it is. Okay, cool. Right. Take care of the vast majority of these fellas. We should get reduced spawns now that we've killed the boss. Which is why I did that first. Why I've been told to do that first. Right. Um, don't care. Ah, I knew there's something still shooting me from a distance, but I couldn't reckon what it was. Get rid of that. Um, then we got duh, 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 duh. squid polyp. I'm actually okay with. I'll, I'll keep that for now. And that one, there you go. Okay, cool. Right, we're definitely getting a bunch of armor plates. <laughs> I'm probably going to go up. To, I, don't, I don't know what, like, the best amount of them to have is. Um, but I'm going to go, like, one, two, three, four, five more. Just to, just to really make sure. Queen's Gland? Um, we could grab a Queen's Gland. Or is, is that worth it? I don't really know. Mostly say Mimic is fine by me. Got another scrapper right there. And let's try and finalize this out with a few more chests. I'll um I'll go in photo mode and just check around for it. I should probably clear the void seed as well, to be honest. Ah, there's another item I don't particularly care for. To be fair, we just we just found a thingy over there, didn't we? So let's go to that scrapper instead. Yeah, that item I just don't I don't want. Right, where's the last few void enemies here? I remember this being decent, but like not late game, so... Ah, oh, gave us 50 armor. Okay, it's decent. And that's really good. Copies our steady mugs. I like it. Right, we are out of here. Unless... No, we're out of here. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Ah, oh, you... How'd I miss that? <laughs> Every single time. Every single time, man. I see you over there, big boy. Get you wrecked. And get you wrecked. Get destroyed. And then finally, get you wrecked. Beautiful stuff. Taken care of, baby. Right, let's try and get a lay of the land and see what's going on. Chest here, nice. Bison stick, not actually terrible. Not anymore, at least. We've got a teleporter over there. I'm going to go touch that now so I remember where it is. So otherwise, I will easily forget. 
Got another one of these cloaks, which I think I just got rid of. Oh, no, I've got two of them now. Okay. Hey, some actual movement speed. Holy. We like actual movement speed, baby. Okay, now we've got to actually go find stuff. Oh, hello. Oh, it's a band as well. That's, that's pretty good. Hello, child. Honestly, movement speed while in air, not bad. Not bad at all. Get out of here with your war banner. Right. Let's quickly just take a John up top top and see if there's anything much going on over there. We do have an anvil to repair broken items, but I don't think we have any, actually. Med kit. Another chest over there. Oh, there's one right here. How much am I of chests right now? 458. Wow. Man, I'm having a hard time killing this guy. Anything that teleports, we're gonna have a bad time. A diary, more movement speed. We've got exactly 458, you know it, baby. You know it. And Will the Wisp is not bad either. Um where was the where was the jump pad? I thought there was a jump pad to get over to that side. Did I am I mistaken? Oh my god. Ow. Maybe I'm mistaken. I swear I saw a jump pad. I guess not. Let's make our way over there naturally then. I don't want to ditch this stage too quickly. But I think we're in a good spot for a win here. Not to speak too soon, you know, but... I think we've set up for a good, good potential chance. Oops. I should try and swap my active for one that's more offensive, though. This one does have a bit of offense on it, but not properly. 3D glasses is nice. And last few bits and bobs over here. Active items there. Nothing much there really, is there? Although if we can if we can kill this guy, I might be able to afford the, the question mark one and see what that is. Right. Oh my god, another one spawned right on top of me. Yeah, there you go. Plenty of money. See what the random one is. Ah, it's good, but. Although actually, what's the actual activate time on that? Yeah, let's take that. It's pretty good. More healing and a quicker activate time for Bottle Chaos is pretty good. And we had a three uh, shop up here as well, didn't we? A try shop? Yes, we did. I guess I'll just take ATG. And I think we're good to go. Oh, we got a big chest up here. I've got to try and unlock that. The legendary potential is there. Right. Taste, take a load of my nuclear energy. That's a thousand. How much are we looking for for a big chest? Okay. That's actually pretty good for us. More debuffs to stack. Right, we are good to go. We're golden. Ooh, hello. I didn't see you in the stage. They're not too difficult, to be fair. Oh my god. The way the damage stacks up is so satisfying. Lunapod here. 
Nope, Brittle Crown doesn't do anything for us right now. And let's just go. We got an Ancient Wisp and a Grandparent. Both of those are pretty horrible, but the Ancient Wisp should go down very, very quickly. Oh my god. Wasn't expecting that to happen, I'll be honest. I wasn't aware I was right next to a giant hole. And we get a fuel cell, which helps us with their charge time, at least. Dude, stop falling in this goddamn hole. <laughs> Frustrating place to put a teleporter. Backed up right into it. Without even knowing. There's not much else we can do here apart from chill. Oh, and not get hit by the goddamn speeding rocks. Kind of forget they deal big damage. What's this here? Equipment drone? Yeah. Oh, here it is. This is is this what I was thinking of? This isn't going to take me where I wanted to go, is it? Oh, no, it does. It does. Oh, my God. I knew. I knew there was one. I can't remember where it was, though. That would have saved us a lot of time. Although we are... Quite a ways into the last difficulty now, so I don't think it would have mattered. After a certain point, the game just kind of stops caring. I'm sure he's tired at practice now. Ah, oh, he's he was way closer than I thought he was. Good, good, good. Right, we are ready for the boss. Not the most cohesive build ever. We didn't get the 3D print as I would have liked. But, I think we did get some good stuff. We also really don't have great movement speed, which I think is our major downside right now. Our movement speed is pretty naff. We should have kind of low max HP too. Ooh, the slow-mo on that was kind of cool. Look at this. Whoa. Oh wait, can I just like... Technically, as long as there's no enemies around, I can infinitely gain height using this. So, in theory, if I wanted to, I could cheese this and get all the way up there, but... I feel like that would take a while. But you're saying there's a chance. Yeah, that's just good. I can't do that. That would take literally forever. Right, let's um, let's go for, for where the 3D printer stuff is. There you go. Look, look. Watch those debuffs get stacked, and then all of a sudden, the health just drains away. All of a sudden, the health is just gone. What once was is no more. I think this is where our printers are. Our wells, whatever you want to call them. Just we got a lot of scrap on us at the minute. That's that's one thing I keep doing wrong. I, well, I won't say wrong. I keep getting unlucky with, I should say. There it is. I keep getting unlucky by, like, having too much on me. Very good item. Way too late for it. That's not great. Not getting the best stuff here. Five green items. I might go for this. Oh, I took away one of my bands though. Just because this stacking crit chance seems like useful. Don't know about anything else, though, unfortunately. Don't think much else is really worthwhile. Excuse me? Let's 
take you out. Why has some of them got blue health bars? What does that mean? I'm going to go all the way to the end over there. Quickly wait. I do have this air dash I can use that I've not really been uh, utilizing very much. But yes, I am gaining stacking crit chance. So I've got four at the minute. Six, seven. Not a lot, but builds up over this course of the stage. Oh, hello. There's a few big boys on me. There you go. And in the fight as well, he summoned stuff too, so... We get an item for that? We did. Oh, we got a crowbar. Lovely. Didn't even notice. Right, can we can we go yet? How many how many thingies are you supposed to do? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Yeah, you bastard! I don't know how many of these you're supposed to do before it unlocks. Get up to plus 10 crit, crit chance already. With each kill, it climbs more and more. As we do these, it gets better and better. That's a lot of fire. Oh, that's a big squid. Up to 16% now. Oh, dude. If I, if I leave this circle, it regresses very heavily. I've got to stay in it the entire time. My sweet, sweet squid turret. Because I'm healing it so much, it's taking a really long time to die. What item did we get there? I saw an item. I have no idea where it went. Did it like, go behind here? Did I pick it up? I have no idea. Okay, right. We've opened up the portal now. The, the jump pad now, anyways. We can go. We gained an extra 20% crit chance from that, um, from that legendary item, which isn't the most insane. But remember, we got to fight stuff during the boss fight as well, so it'll climb even higher. I think it was worth the, like, one or two greens we got rid of. I think one of them was a fireband, though, which is slightly sad. Right. Let's do this thing. Right, we've got to get our fire rate built up. And luckily, I think we have a lot of uh, mobility as this character with uh, the jumps and stuff we got going on right now. We shouldn't have too much of a problem. And I actually think that with the armor reduction stuff we got going on, we should kill him pretty quick. Once we get it all built up, it's just... Unfortunately, he has a lot of phases like this. Where he likes to be a silly billy and move out the way. He did try there. He tried again. Ain't gonna happen, bruh. Right, he's almost done. First phase is almost done. Unfortunately, our uh, our special ability doesn't really do much because he kind of needs to stand in one spot for that to have any effect. Look at that squid boy. Look at him, he's huge. Five times squid turret. Popping off. And then these guys. These guys are a piece of piss. This phase really, like, doesn't need to exist. 
Dude, the squid turret times seven. He is a tall boy. Really? What are you doing up there? <laughs> Look at this dude, man. Squid turret's gonna earn you, man. When I get... So, well, let me just quickly take a look on my actual squid turret, wherever it is. How exactly is this working? So, the turret... It summons a squid turret with 100% damage and 100% HP. Attacks... Uh, attack speed that distracts enemies nearby. Limit to three, where it said times seven there. So, that, that, that ain't true. <laughs> Something to do with the, um, the joining up of... Uh, Drones and bots is, is having some funky effect on that. But it's when I get hit that it triggers, so... I'm kind of waiting for me to next get hit, but I'll be honest, I don't really want to get hit. There you go. Squid turret. That's, that's a squid turret level 1, though. Oh my lord, that was bad. Very nearly died there to him. Okay. Made it through pizza phase. Pizza phase is by far the scariest bit for me. Squirt turret times three there. Living his best life. I think we got him. There you go, baby. Squid turret is doing it for himself. You take my items, big boy. He's got my, uh, he's got my element look. Kind of funny. Oh, he's doing this one already. He's hitting me with that. Nope. As soon as he starts firing, you just want to get the hell out of the way so he doesn't hit you. Hitting me again. I've got a good amount of my items back now, though. Thanks for giving, my, giving me my strap back. I got my armor plating back. That's huge. And my aspect. I think we got this in the bag now. Yeah, he is earned. Get wrecked, boy. Hope you enjoyed that last bit of life. Get destroyed. And then we're gonna do this whole thing. Is there a mod that, that, that like removes this stage? That would be really nice. I just want him to die and then it'd be over. I think that would make more sense. Even the like you could just have this whole bit as a cutscene, right? It just punishes me for having bad movement speed. We can see how much damage they do, but at the same time, probably don't want to find out, right? Wow. That was, uh, <laughs> that was annoying. Look at all the dead commanders. It's sad to see. Oh, these guys shouldn't last too long. Oh my god, they don't last long at all, baby. That molten coin I got near the start is clearly paying off, because the fire damage that thing's doing it seems good. Managed to make it up to plus 30 crit chance, though. 31. That seems like a really good item for like general stage-to-stage -stage gameplay. But it seems like we have another Eclipse 1 victory as... A good old Huntress here. Good stuff. Even with a bunch of unnecessary scrap that we've still got on us. There you go, baby. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Yet another very, very fun run. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.